So we've spoken about hand expressing your milk and hand expressing your colostrum. Sometimes people choose to express milk for other reasons. Maybe their baby is being supplemented a little bit more frequently in the hospital than they might have to express themselves. I would always say, if your baby is being supplemented with artificial formula, this should be your thought to think, oh, I need to be stimulating my breasts as well and getting this milk out for baby. If it's within the very first 24 hours, hand expressing is what you will use. If it's after 24 hours, you might not want to use hand expressing. You might want to avail of an electric pump. In the hospital, double hospital grade pumps will be available to you if you'd like to use them. Your midwife will be happy to be able to help you with this. Another alternative for expressing milk when you get home can sometimes be using a milk collection vessel. These work in concurrent with you feeding your baby. So when your baby is latched and fixed at the breast, you can attach this milk collection vessel to your opposite breast to collect the milk that would be leaking otherwise. For some people, they might do this from about a week to two weeks onwards. Some people might do it that little bit more frequently, especially if they have been supplementing their baby with artificial formula. But if there is leakage there from the breast, there is no reason as to why you can't use this as a way to gather that milk. Milk collection vessels are readily available and a reasonable cost. If you're then looking at an electric pump, electric pumps generally come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Electric pumps are single pumps or double pumps. I would always say the most important thing with regards to getting an electric pump is that you make sure it's a closed circuit pump. A closed circuit pump is going to ensure that no bacteria is going to get through to this milk that you're expressing for your baby. If you can get a double pump and if you're having to increase your supply, it's going to be the best option for you. I'm happy to speak to people about it, as well as lots of other midwives in the hospital will be happy to give you advice on this. Again, this is somewhere where you can go and ask your peer support groups about. All of these people will have knowledge with regards to pumps that are available in your local area. When you've expressed your milk, it should always be stored in a milk collection bag. Milk collection bags are specifically designed for breast milk storage. You can put the date and the time on them, so it's putting you into good practice as well. Um, and then they should be put directly into the fridge. Each milk you express should be stored individually in these bags. Okay, so milk collection storage bags are quite important. Milk can be stored in your refrigerator for five days or it can be stored in your fridge freezer for three months. So milk can last quite a long period of time by being stored in the freezer or in the fridge, okay? Um, if you want to take milk out of the fridge to rewarm it to give to your baby, then you need to use it within one to two hours of it coming out of the fridge. Ideally, bring it to room temperature and then let your baby have it, okay? If your milk is coming out of the freezer, it should be defrosted inside in the fridge and used within 24 hours of when it has fully defrosted. And again, rewarming this milk to give to baby, it needs to again be used within one to two hours.